buried deep in the files of Moldova's National Archive lie secrets from one of the country's darkest periods. In the decade following World War II, tens of thousands of Moldovans starved to death during a Soviet-imposed famine or were deported to Siberia under the brutal rule of dictator Joseph Stalin. Through either courage or naivete, some Moldovans appealed directly to Stalin himself for help. Olga Ciccone reflects on a letter she wrote to the Soviet leader six decades ago when she was 15 years old, her plea to free her starving family from crippling high taxes. Olga's family lived in grinding poverty. Unable to pay their taxes, her father was arrested. Unaware that repressive Soviet policies were responsible for her family's suffering, Olga suggested to her mother they send a letter to Stalin. Propaganda of the era portrayed the dictator as a benevolent liberator. Prima literatura era de conducerea țării, că este doar Stalin are grijă de toți copiii. Ne-a eliberat să fim liberi, să avem o viață fericită. Și iată, eu așa o încredere avem în trânsul, mă m- înceva că, că într-un părinte. Olga never received a reply to her letter, Only after the Soviet leader's death did she realize that Stalin was not the man she had imagined. Olga Ciccone's letter was discovered in Moldova's National Archive by historian Mariana Tranu. It was among nearly 300 appeals to Stalin she found in the course of two years of research. Din totalul scrisorilor adresate lui Stalin, practic nici una nu a fost citită de cel căruia a fost adresată. Așa s-a întâmplat că răspuns la scrisori trebuia să dea tocmai cei despre care se scriau în aceste scrisori. Și, în consecință, 80% din totalul semnatarilor scrisorilor adresate lui Stalin în această perioadă au fost deportați în Siberia. As Yulia Radu and her family bitterly discovered, writing for help made them a target of the regime. They were deported to Siberia in the summer of 1949. <inaudible> Vera Stratulat is another person who remembers the hardships of that era. She says the terror evoked by the Soviet authorities was so strong, she could hardly imagine how anyone could have asked Stalin to save them. Cum spun că tot rău vine anume de la dânsul? Cum puteai să-i scrii lui Stalin când vedeai că, că ei se strădui din toate puterile, să, să distrugă poporul, îl înfometează? Omul și ieșe de minte. În casă s-a auzit strigând, ne-a mâncat, ne-a mâncat, ne-a mâncat. Caught within the grips of a dictatorship, and bombarded with its relentless propaganda, 
Some didn't know where else to turn for help. Omul simplu nu vedea altă salvare decât de la Stalin. Acum, de pe pozițiile timpului, noi privim ca o naivitate. No matter how futile the letters may have been, the documents stand today as personal testaments to the struggle faced by Moldovans under Stalin and his regime's callous disregard for their suffering.